The Alien series has always kind of been this dark origin story of humanity, and this film contributed to that in a big way. Let me talk about it. Spoiler warning ahead, so if you haven't seen this one, go check out the film, then come back and watch this video. So in this film, we follow Rain. She's the heroine, and she's trying to escape this slave planet with her brother Andy, who's a synthetic. I feel like since Andy had all those dad jokes, which I love by the way, wouldn't it be the best dad joke ever if Andy was short for Android? Ooh. The craziest part about this film is that they discovered a black liquid, which we know came from the engineers and a direct call back to Prometheus. Now the group sees a recording of the black liquid being tested on a demolished rack, how it rebuilt all his cells, rebuilt his body, and he went back to normal but they didn't see the end of the video. Us, the audience later on see that the rat ends up giving birth to something crazy, which comes into play later. And side note, I do not like how they brought Ian home back in this film at all. Just because we can bring actors back, doesn't mean we should. And I thought it really looked like some weak CGI, just they should have left it alone. Now Kay, who's up on the Renaissance with Rain and Andy, ends up injecting herself with the black liquid even after Rain said she didn't think it was a good idea. Now I'm sure she was scared and thought it would help, but I know I wouldn't have did that crap. Since Kay was already pregnant, the black liquid speeded up the process and caused her to give birth to that human xenomorph hybrid. And that joint looked just like one of the Nephilim, which ties it directly to humanity. The legend says that the Watchers were fallen angels that came to Earth. They ended up mating with human women and created these beings called Nephilim. Now the Nephilim were an abomination, but they were basically these human angel hybrids that look crazy, but it looked just like the human xenomorph hybrids from this movie. They made that being look that way to tie directly into the lore and tale of this origin of humanity. It was done on purpose, and some people even think that angels could be aliens and vice versa. That's part of the mystery that Alien brings where it kind of ties in these loose connections to humanity. And you can go look up things, especially like Romulus, Remus, that comes directly from Roman mythology. So they kind of tie in real historical things and they tie in lore and make it all into one cohesive story. And that's what makes it really enjoyable for us, the watchers. But what do you think? Was the human xenomorph hybrid a Nephilim? Was this story tied to the origin story? Do you see the connection to Prometheus at all? I want to know.